Hi viewers, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified for more interesting videos. So as you know that world is looking towards renewable energy in order to make the environment of this planet more suitable for living. Today we can see that fuel prices are rising globally and hence the electricity we are purchasing from the local distribution company is getting costly as well. Viewers, in order to compete the economical plus environmental challenges, many countries including Pakistan, India, also UAE has introduced a system that is known as net metering. Net metering is a system in which a consumer of electricity can sell electricity back to the distribution company by installing solar panels at their homes, land or any place where distribution company is providing their services. In this video, we'll see that how a hybrid solar system actually works. A solar panel works by allowing photons or particles of light to knock electrons free from atoms, generating a flow of electricity. Solar panels actually comprise many smaller units called photovoltaic cells. Guys, photovoltaic simply means they convert sunlight into electricity. Many cells linked together make up a solar panel. The most important component used in solar system is inverter or power inverter. The role of power inverter is very important as it converts the direct current into alternating current. The current we get from solar panels is basically a direct current just like the current we get from batteries. Direct current doesn't vary with time while the load at our homes require alternating current whose magnitude varies with time in a particular time period. So inverter converts the direct current produced by solar panels into alternating current just like the one we get from our distribution company. There are different built-in modes in hybrid inverter. For example, we have a sunny day from 9 am to 5 pm. The inverter gets the power from solar panel as a primary source and operates the load. If solar panels are producing more than the requirement of load, then the excess power will be exported back to the grid at the same time. If at some instance the production from solar panels get reduced or the load requirement gets increased then inverter will decide to get the remaining required power from utility grid as a secondary source. But here we can decide if in such a scenario we can either choose utility grid or batteries as a secondary source. After 5 pm or one can say at evening till sun rises again the next day the inverter will select the utility grid to take on and provide electricity. But for this, we must have to set utility grid as a second source in the settings of inverter. In the absence of both solar panels production and utility grid, the batteries will be selected by the inverter as primary source. Besides solar panels and power inverter, the most important component are stands or mounting structures on which solar panels basically mount it. If we talk about the cost of the whole system, then solar panels and inverters tend to make 70% of total cost. Mounting structures, wires, batteries, circuit breakers and installation cost covers the remaining 30% of total cost. Please note that this video covers the hybrid solar system. Inshallah viewers, in next videos, you will be able to learn the difference between hybrid, grid tight and off grid solar system. If you like this video, please share it and also subscribe my channel to stay tuned for upcoming videos. Thank you.